Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture on pediatric dose calculation. So first of all we will see that what are the conversion factors and what are the most common abbreviations and uh, we will understand the important rules which are used to calculate the pediatric dose and uh, we will see those rules how are they used to calculate the dose on the basis of weight and the age as well as on the basis of body surface area of the child so now these are the most common conversion factors such as 1 tsp is equal to 5 ml 1 inches 2.5 cm 1 liter 1000 ml 1 kg 1000 gram 1 gram is equals to 1000 milligram 1 milligram is equal to 1000 microgram 12 inches is equals to 1 foot 1 tbsp is equal to 3 tsp 1 cc is equal to 1 ml 1 centimeter 10 mm 1 tbsp 15 ml and 1 pound is equal to 0 0.453592 kg These are the most common abbreviations which you are going to find in the prescriptions of the doctors such as PO means per oral, means by mouth or orally, SUSP is the suspension, PM as needed, then TAB is the tablet, CAP is the capsule, Q means every, BID means twice a day, TID is equal to three times a day and QID is equal to four times a day. So now we are going to see the most common rules which are used to calculate the safe dose that you are going to use in a child. So this rule is known as Clark's rule, very important rule which is based on the body weight. So if you have the body weight of a child then you can use this rule. And uh, this rule says that the child's dose is equal to weight in pound upon 150 pounds into adult dose very important formula next is the young's rule it is also a very important rule so suppose you do not have the weight but you know the age of the child and the age of the child is between 1 year to 12 years then you can use this formula child's dose is equal to age in year upon age in year plus 12 into adult dose so these two rules are the most commonly used rules, Clark's rule and Young's rule, Clark's rule and Young's rule. So the Clark's rule is on the weight basis while the Young's rule is on the child age basis. So the Clark's rule is equal to weight of child into 150 pounds into adult dose. So suppose you have the weight of the child in kg. So what you will do? You can use this formula, converted formula here, pediatric dose or the child dose is equal to weight of the child upon 68 kg into adult dose. So suppose you have the weight of the child is equal to 34 kg. You can divide it by the 68 and multiply by the adult dose. While in case of Young's formula, we know that age is divided by age plus 12 into adult dose. So these are the most common formulas that are used. So here I have used an example, 11 year old girl of 34 kg and the adult dose is 500 mg. So if you will use the Clark's rule, then weight of the child upon 68 into adult dose. So pediatric dose is equals to 34 kg. Okay. Divided by 68 into 500 mg. 500 divided by 2. So the pediatric dose in this case is the 250 mg. If you will use the Young's rule for the same child, then it will be age upon age plus 12 into adult dose. So age is 11, which is divided by 11 plus 12 into 500 mg, 11 divided by 23 into 500 mg and you will have a dose of 240 mg. So these doses are almost similar. So you can give the child 250 mg of the medicine that you are going to use. 
There are some other formula such as Fry's rule. It is also an important formula. Here it says, suppose the child is under one year of age, then you can use this formula because here age is in months. So the child dose is equals to age in month upon 150 into adult dose. It is also an important formula. Another important formula is the Trilling's rule. So it can be used for up to the 20 year of age. Here the child's dose is equals to age in year upon 20 into adult dose. So we have three formulas such as Young's rule, Fried's rule and Dulling's rule. All of these rules uses pediatric age. Most commonly used is the Young's rule while in a child, in, a, in an infant you can use Fried's rule. Another rule is the Dulling's rule which you can use. So now another method through which you can calculate the safe dose is on the basis of body surface area of the child. So it is not routinely used because it is a bit complicated. However, in the case of uh, such as your child is suffering from some cancer and you want to give some anti-cancer drugs. So in those cases, we use the child's body surface area. So the formula is the child's dose is equals to child's body surface area in meter square upon 1.73 meter square into average adult dose. So it is also a important formula. So if you want to calculate the body surface area of the child, how will you calculate it? There is a formula for that. And this formula is known as Mosteller formula. So it is another important formula. Uh, which is equal to square root of height in centimeter into weight in kg upon 3600. So you will have the BSA in meter square. So this is how you can calculate the body surface area of the child. Okay. So the Mostella formula is a very important formula for calculating the body surface area of the child. However, there is another formula which is known as Du Bois formula. So it is another formula to calculate the body surface area. Now you have an assignment. You have to calculate the dose of Vincristine in mLs for a four year old with the leukemia weighing 37 pounds and is 97 centimeter tall and the dose required is 2 mg per meter square and the drug comes in 1 mg per ml concentration. Now I have given the answer 1.34 per ml. So uh, try to calculate it and share in the comments section. Thank you. Do subscribe, like and share. Thanks a lot. These are the references. Thank you.